We're almost done. In another type of inhibition, or actually the last type of inhibition, known as feedback inhibition, and also known as end product inhibition, a series of reactions is inhibited by the binding of the end product to an enzyme that acts quite early in the pathway. As the end product accumulates, it binds at the enzyme's allosteric site and prevents the enzyme from binding to the substrate, thus reducing the rate of reaction. So in short, enzyme makes product, product inhibits enzyme, ta-da! Feedback inhibition is important because it prevents the cell from wasting resources for the production of an end product, which is already in excess. The mismechanism is often seen in anabolic pathways, which are pathways involved in the formation of compounds from smaller subunits, as opposed to catabolic pathways, which are, involved, which are pathways that involve the breaking down of big compounds to small stuff. Feedback inhibition is observed in pathways such as the formation of amino acids. And with that, we have come to the end of the enzyme lecture series. Remember to revise and recap all that has been discussed, and if necessary, construct a mind map to aid in your understanding. Thanks for watching.